Om Namah Shivaya students. Today we will be learning the poem Father to Son by Elizabeth Jennings from your textbook. Let's first know about the poetess. Elizabeth Joan Jennings was born in July 18, 1926 and died in October 26, 2001. She was born in Boston. When she was six, her family moved to Oxford where she remained for the rest of her life. Her father was a respected chief medical officer. She later discovered poetry while attending the Oxford High School. She later attended St. Anne's College. After graduation, she became a writer. Her early poetry was published in journals such as Oxford Poetry, New English Weekly, The Spectator, Outposts, etc. But her first book was not published until. She was 27 years old. Her works relate intensely personal matters in a plain spoken, traditional and objective style and whose verse frequently reflects her devout Roman Catholicism and her love for Italy. She is regarded as traditionalists rather than an innovator. Jennings is known for her lyric poetry and mastery of form. Her work displays a simplicity of meter and rhyme shared with Philip Larkin, Kingsley Amis and Tom Gunn, all members of the group of English poets known as The Movement. The central idea of the poem is generation gap which occurs when the communication link between two generations break due to a natural lack of understanding tolerance and acceptance. The poem is about the agony of a father where he rants about the straining relationship with his son who is now grown up. He shares that although they had lived together in the same house for years, he doesn't understand him. He doesn't know anything about him and even if he tried to build up relationship with him like the one when he was small child, his efforts were in vain. He further says that even if his son looks like him, yet he doesn't know what he loves. He acknowledges the communication gap and lack of understanding between them and they speak like strangers. His son is in a different place which he cannot access due to that increasing gap. There is silence between them. He is ready to forgive him and his pro prodigal son. He wants to accept him back to the house, the one which he always knew. He doesn't want his son to move around the world. He is longing to love him. The son finally speaks up and shares what he feels. He is at a stage where he cannot understand himself. He feels grief about the growing distance between them and he is angry due to the grief and sadness. They put out an empty hand towards each other but none of them holds it. They want to forgive each other yet couldn't find a solution to the problem. The gap has resulted in a non-communication and non-understanding of each other. If both of them decide to take a lead and are willing to forget and forgive, their relationship may improve. Respecting each other's differences is the only way out to diminish the distance between parents and children. In the next following videos, I will be explaining you the entire poem stanza-wise. Thank you. Om Namah Shivaya.